In the middle of our session, I look up and I see Gina kissing Milo on the mouth, which is totally not cool because it completely violates our threesome code of ethics. So Stacy bit my toe off. Yeah, and then Milo freaks out and calls me a crazy skank. And nobody talks to my bitch that way. That's right. So I stapled his lip shut, and here we are. Well, we've all been there. Communion After Dark.
Birds with a dead horse. Communion After Dark. Welcome back to the greatest show on the internet. It's April 8th, so this is Mouse. I'm here with Paradise and Gold, and uh, that was my set. Hope you enjoyed it, because it was the best. It was the coolest. Um, The last song I just played was Qual with this song, I Have to Return Some Videotapes. And that's on their Cybercare EP on Avant Records. That's a pretty cool name for a song, I have to admit. Are they old enough to even remember returning videotapes? Okay, uh, before that I played Mascarpone, like the cheese, with a song, I Can't See It. Uh, And that's from their release called Video Club, also an EP. I think there's only like four tracks on there, and you can get that on Bandcamp. Sounds like an Italian hitman mask. It's an Italian cheese. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, Mascarpone, it's like a cream cheese. I don't know why. I don't know why you'd have a heavy band and, and name your name band. it cream cheese. <laughs> yeah. Prior to that, Mouse played the band Amnista, and they are back with a brand new album called Black Halo, on a label called Nine XO Media. Uh, that was their new song, Package of Regrets, which you can find on Black Halo. Go buy that. It's currently out and available. And it sounds kind of like Skinny Puppy or Frontline Assembly, so uh, I really dug it. They've been around for a little while, haven't they? Oh, yes. That band's been around for quite a while. Saw him in Germany a number of years back. A couple of times I've seen him, actually. And he does a lot of other stuff. He's in that band TC75. Yeah, yeah. That's it. A couple other ones. All right. And prior to that, we heard Mr. Kitty with a song called Puzzle Heart featuring, what's her name? Hatsumi? Hatsumi Miku. Miku. Did you know her? Did you meet her in Japan? I wish I did. Um, (laughs) She's she's not real. She's a um, a a computer box. Computer generated idol. Um, Hatsumi. Voice idol, yeah. Hatsune Miko. That's from the ephemeral album out on Negative Games. Yay. And then before that, new Faderhead. It's still new. Uh, with the song Out of Control from his Star Chaser EP. Came out about three weeks back. And that's self-released. And you can also pick it up on Bandcamp Digital. And I started out with brand new Hosiko with the song Dark Sunday. And that's just a single that you can get right now. Um, through Out of Line Records, and super excited because Hosiko is also coming to town in May. So. Uh, yeah, May 16th at the H- Orpheum. H is back. Yes, and I was so pleased with the song. I, it just like got me all amped up. All right, there you go. Now we're going to do our shot of the week. Let's do it. This is called a panty quiver. <laughs> do you qu- just make these up? Does that like quiver from the Book of Love song? Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. it might be. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Drink, get drink. That is Jaeger with a shot of Jaeger in it. Yeah. Mixed with some Jaeger. That will make me quiver for sure. My tongue is quiver. I drink too many of those. Actually, really good. That was okay. uh, one part Jaegermeister, as Moss announced, and one part Blackberry Brandy. Or, I'm sorry, Blackberry <laughs> Liqueur. I apologize. Blackberry. <laughs> 
brandy liqueur. That's a little different than blackberry brandy. Yeah, please so. don't give me brandy. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, no brandy in that. It was blackberry schnapps, basically, and um, one part Jägermeister. There you go. I think the snorts would enjoy Make that. Make you quiver. <laughs> so gold, did, all the time. Since we say we play new music on the show, did you want to like specify how many months we usually go back for new music? For six months, maybe. Six months? Yeah, I think so. Well, well we three, three to six months. Yeah, six months. Gold's right. We, we we usually cut it off somewhere around between three to six months, somewhere in that area. But anything that's come out in the last you know number of months is still new music, in my opinion. Don't you agree? Yeah. It is to most people, too, because most people don't even hear it until it's been out for, like, a year. That's for sure. Because everything was new once. That's right. So when you make requests, yes, if you're making requests to the show and we are maybe not playing some of them, that's because if they're a couple years old or whatever, usually we'll try and throw those in, like, at the end of the show because we always play, like, an older song at the end of the show. So, Mm -hmm. But we do have an all-request show coming up. We do. Did anybody request anything? Yes, yeah. we've gotten a bunch so far. That will be on May 6th, and you can still send in requests. You can send them through email at communityafterdark at yahoo.com, or you can send them through our Facebook, wherever you want to send them. It doesn't matter. You can send them through uh, Instagram. You can send them through YouTube. Mixcloud, YouTube. Just leave a comment with your, with your requests, we'll just so it. we can find it. We have a special guest DJ next week coming into the show to DJ with Gold, Mouse, and myself. She'll be blowing in from the north again. <laughs> Gold, did you want to say who that is by any chance? Oh, shit. Is it, is it Melissa? Melissa. Yeah. Melissa? <laughs> is she, she's blowing Winters in. Winters is blowing in. The, the week that Game of Thrones comes back? She's, hmm. she's going to be here for Record Store Day. Is that any She did announce that. That's right. She did announce that the following day is Game of Thrones premiere. Yeah. That's pretty cool on the 14th. I'm going to have to play Exciting. that theme song when she starts playing. That's awesome. Do, 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 do. Is that how it goes? Do, 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 do. Yes. Something like that. Yeah. All right, we're moving on. Uh, I'm next. Um, I will be starting off with brand new Massive Ego. So come back. Do not miss that. Bye.
right, we're back at Camille After Dark. You yes, sir, my set on Paradise with an I. I don't know what that means. It's better than Paradise with a Y. Paradise Y? Um, th that last... <laughs> That last song you heard was. <laughs> <laughs> the, <la> the last song you heard was the Foreign Resort. Just roll with it. <laughs> Brand new Foreign Resort. A uh, really good album. It's, I'm very, very pleased with this. It, the, the album's called Outnumbered. Just came out on Artifact Records. And that track you heard was Burn in the Night. Uh, Mouse said it sounded like The Cure. Yes. Uh, it's got similar sound. Very exactly traders like. like oh, and traders. Yes, if you like traders, you will definitely enjoy the Foreign Resort. Prior to that, I played Tragic Impulse, and they have a new album out now called Echoes of the Unseen. That was the track Down in Flames off the album, and you can get that on Distortion Productions LLC. Uh, make sure you go out and support Distortion Productions, they're a very good label, and Jim is a cool dude, so help him out and buy the album. Cool. And before that, Paradise played Trevor Something, our favorite mysterious guy based in Miami, we think, uh, with the song Living in a Lie. And that's from his new release, Bots Don't Cry. Um, you can pick that up on Bandcamp, or you can pick up the vinyl. In pink, it's pink vinyl. All right. And then prior to that, we heard another new track from the new Aesthetic Perfection. That one's called YOLO. And that went out to Andrew Cook. That's right. YOLO, Andy. YOLO. <laughs> And that was from the, his new Into the Black CD that's out only on Close to Human. You can only buy it through his website direct or Bandcamp. <laughs> He's been getting a very good reaction to the album from what I've seen. And um, it's a good album. I mean, it's, uh, I, I think uh, as far as like his more recent outputs, um, this is one of the better ones he's done. I enjoyed this track, this album a large amount. And it lines up with his tour that's coming out later in the year. That's right. He is coming to Tampa on September something 20th i believe if i'm not mistaken if i have my dates correct it's time to you i'm picking them up from the airport tickets are <laughs> on sale buy them i'm excited he's coming with empathy tests too as the opening act you know who's excited about that mark, mark roberts. roberts that's right all right second song in my set was frozen plasma with the track murder's trap and um that was featuring xavier morales of rune conflict on vocals again that's on my pick of the month packed that was the name of the album picked that for the last month of march that's on in fact the recordings again that's the uh, bunch of artists from different bands interpreting their versions of frozen plasma tracks and um that video is great they, somebody made a fan video of that um original song of murder's trap check it out online it's all true blood video uh, images thrown oh, you in love there. True Blood. With the, with, the, with the redhead. You watched every episode. That redhead is hot. Yeah, I don't know what her name was. but Erica? I think her name was Hot. No? <laughs> well, you're the one who said it. I said Erica. Hot Toddy. All right. Prior to, that, prior to that, I started off with brand new Massive Ego. Brand new. Thank you, Mark, for sending that over to us. Um, and that is the uh, single that's coming out called Digital Heroin. You heard it here first um, on the first show to play it anyways. Thank you, Mark. It's because he idolizes us. That's right. It's <laughs> awesome. And that was from his brand new album, Church for the Malfunction. That is coming out on Out of Line Records in a few weeks on April 26th. Uh, do not miss out on that album. It's going to be a fucking rocket. Rocket ship. <laughs> do not miss it. <laughs> it's a rocket ship. <laughs> It's a great album. I've already heard the album, and it's it's good from front to back. So don't miss out on that. And the uh, single will be out, in, I believe, next week. Their, uh, the single should be available. Hey, you know what else? I um, like that track. Hmm? Ruined Conflict is also coming. That's right. He is. He's coming in concert on August 22nd. Everybody's coming. Yeah, but he, he landed in Germany today. That's right. Landed safely. But yes, that'll be a good show on August 22nd at Crow Bar. A Rune Conflict will be here with Voice Coil, another very good band, and Blue Images, which I think is very exciting. All those bands will be a great time. And that is gonna, those tickets are already on sale as well. <laughs> All right, we're going to do our donations now for the week. Thank you. And now donations for our monthly donators. 
<laughs> Thank you to Stephen Hussey, Crystal Mutchler, John Dillinger, Jason Walter, Lauren Montgomery, Ben B, C D, Jill P, Daniel Krupa, Daniel Weiss, Neil McCombe, and Tobias Stankel. Woohoo! Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys, all of you. Thank you, ladies and guys. And we also got a donation from Athena Barco. And one from Shelly Wiley from your friends at Ravens and Rockers. Thank yeah. you. Hey, they're local. And they also, Hi guys. we love Sheena and, and Shelly. And Liza. And, and Liza and, and, and Shanette. And her little dog, too. <laughs> and, and her little dog, too. Thank and you, Ravens and Rockers. Dog. Thank you, guys. Truly appreciate it from all of you. And thank you, Athena, for donating. And thank you to all those wonderful people out there who donate on a monthly basis. We know it's not easy to part with money every single month, so it's truly appreciated. It helps us keep going. We are done for this episode of my segment, and now Gold's coming for the third sh- set of our show. Yep, the third shit set. I'm going to start <laughs> off with some music. He's going to start off with music. Come back. This is
I'm smiling at the barricades. I'm never looking back.
All right, welcome back to ComedianAfterDark.com. I'm DJ Tom, and you just heard Mono Sapien with a song called A Ringen Rungen. <laughs> that's probably exactly how you say it. Oh, sure. Sure it is. In Ringen Mendingrungen. A Rinnerungen. Yeah. Ring around the rosy. <laughs> that, that, uh, that which means wipe your ass counterclockwise. <laughs> and that, that's featuring Shy, the cl- <laughs> club mix. And that's from the same name of the song EP out on Echo Zone Records. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, Shy, if that's you from New Orleans, please let us know. Yeah. If, Shy, let singing us know if, on the new Mono Sapien. Yeah, see if you're ring a rungin'. A ring a rungin'. Yeah. All right. Prior to that, Gold played State of the Union with their track Slither. And that was the Assemblage 23 remix of that track. Um, that is brand new on Infected Recordings. Came out last week. That is uh, the title of the EP is called Slither Industrial. So basically they did some remixes of the track Slither and Industrial. Two different tracks on that EP. Pretty cool. Yep. Yep. Before that was Major Voice with the song Drive. That was awesome. That was out of left field for me. I wasn't expecting that voice. Uh, from the release, the newer chapter on No Cut. That was a cover, of yeah, course. Yeah, if you guys don't remember, that's a cover by the famous cover of the Cars, sung by Benjamin Orr. God, God bless his soul, who passed away. Yeah, that's a really cool cover there. That track. If that's, all all the songs. He's got sound a nice like voice. That. Yeah. Maybe he's married Ooh. to Donald Hugley. Yeah. Is that Dirk? Is that what Dirk sounds like in the shower? Is that Dirk in the shower? <laughs> Is that the guy from Mono Inc. Like yeah. singing like that? Yeah, yeah. He's changed his name. Yeah. No. All right, Gold, what was your second song? Okay. Played uh, my pick of the month, which was Felix Mark, and the song is called Omen from the Substance album, and that's self-released on Bandcamp. Yeah. And then I started off with Covenant, with a song called All That Is Solid Melts Into Air, and that's from the Fieldworks Excursion EP, which is uh, out now for general consumption, but was only available at their shows, which is uh, a track done by each one of the members of the band, uh, just messing around. It's very experimental, but very cool, but limited to 500 copies. So, cool. so what, what label? Oh, on Undependent Records. That's right. So, it's a brand new Covenant. Yeah, that's, that's pretty exciting, though. So don't go buying it thinking you're going to hear Dead Stars. <laughs> well, it's only about four songs. So. Yeah. But they were experimental before Dead Stars. Yeah, period. Yeah, some of their older stuff was experimental as well. They were on pushing the, the boundaries of Electro. All right, so comments. Um, we got one from Ben Goodret. Who said, loved the show, but you're French. Ouch! La poussière means the dust. And I still don't know how to pronounce it. I, I thought he'd give us a pronunciation. Yeah, he, he said didn't. French is horrible. It's poussière, who cares? Poussière. Poussière, poussière, poussière means poussière. the dust. It sounds like kitty cat. Uh, uh, Chris Robb says, my wife and I have been listening to your show since we bought an iPad. Paradise. Oh, an iPad too. Paradise. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> just, that is important. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Paradise always finds the best vocal tracks. I wear my black cat hoodie around Portland every day that I'm off. Love the show, even if I have to turn the volume down on the intro clips when I'm at work. Thank you. That's an awesome. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. It's awesome. Thank you for supporting and, mm. and representing the show. I'm surprised he doesn't get beat up. No. no. We're cool, man. <laughs> no. We're cool in Portland. We're cool like that. So, uh, and then uh, Sarah Sarah, Sarah Sarah says, uh, can we have a DJ white gold? I can't stand yellow or rose gold. Still a great DJ. There you go. White he, gold. That's his to, new name. DJ white gold. DJ white gold. All right. Before we go to our last song, we have some concerts to announce that are coming up. Please try and support the concerts if you live in the Tampa, Orlando, surrounding areas uh, that you can drive to Tampa. Uh, we have on April 25th, which is the next show here that's a Community After Dark show. It's Esper Machine. Coming with Solemn Shapes as the opening band at Hooch and Hive. Yes. Which is located on Cass Street in downtown Tampa. Come out and support that show. It's only $10 for tickets. Very cheap. Uh, DJ Mouse will be there spinning. So if you want to just come to see DJ Mouse, you can do that. Uh, Wear your DJ Mouse shirt or whatever you have that has our picture on it. (laughs) And you can also come out and see the other DJ, which is DJ JD Tucker from Grendel. So if you want some Grendel merchandise signed, all you have to do is come out to that show and he will sign it for you. I will be wearing a Grendel shirt. I hope he signs it. That's right. He will. He promises. So come out and support that show. It's only 10 bucks. 
And then also, we have a Community After Dark event, which I know it's going to be a little tough for some people, but it's the day after, on April 26th. But it's a Friday. It's a Friday. But if you live in St. Petersburg, come out to Iberian Rooster. We are doing a Community After Dark event at Iberian Rooster on the 26th. So come to Esper Machine, and then that the next night. We will give you a free drink. You can't if say that. Up. No, I'll give them a free drink. If they show up to both events, I'll give them a free drink. <gasps> okay, that we can do. Yes. So come out, support, and and also one more event to announce on May 6th, coming up in May 16th. Those are in May. I do want to make sure that people are aware that we have Diary Dreams, May 6th, and then tie that in with Hoseco on May 16th. Um, you can buy all these uh, tickets online. Just go check out the events. They're available through... Um, Ticket fly, event bright, yes. So go out and support those shows. And that's yeah. about it, right? I will be at all those shows. But the first one is Esper Machine, so go and support that. And then we will see you there and we'll have fun. Fun times. Bolts right. finishing off with a classic. Yes. And Winters is coming next week. What are you finishing off with, Tom? We're going to hear a classic from Alphaville. They released their classic album, Forever Young, back out as a special edition. And we're going to be playing a. B side, different mix of Forever Young, which has been rarely rare to find, and it's the special dance mix because it is special. And that's from the Forever Young box set special edition out on Rhino Records. All right, check it out. That's pretty cool. Alphaville on Communion After Dark. <laughs> yep, next week. Hey, and next week is also Record Store Day on Saturday. Don't forget April thirteenth. Yeah. So check that out we, too if you live will, in your. We'll be out in the Tampa Bay area. Whatever at city. Local record stores. Spending all our money. Yep. So. All right, see you there. Bye. Okay, Communion After Dark. Welcome back to the greatest show on the internet. It's April 8th. Did you you sound th- so thrilled. I- I'm super thrilled. The greatest I- show. I love April. With this song, I have to return some videotapes. That's a pretty cool name for a song, I have to admit. Are they old enough to even remember returning videotapes? Do you know where that line is from, though? Oh, um, how about Jane Silent Bob? No, Clerks, no? no, it was American Psycho. Oh shit! No, Remember, no. people, the guy well, was, was talking to him. Yeah. He's like, I have to return some videotapes. Don't look at it, eat it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, prior to that, Mouse played. Amni- <laughs> prior to that, Mouse played Amnista. Amnistia. Right. <clears throat> prior to that, Mouse played Amnista with their song "Package of Refugees." Package oh, of regrets. Jesus. Package of refugees. I can't wait for Game of Thrones to come back. Oh, I know. I'm it's gonna... only six fucking yeah. episodes, though. Yeah, That's yeah, lame. You know, I've never watched one single episode of that show yet. Never? You yeah, can start. It. Oh, man, yeah. you need to binge watch I, I, I was, that show. I was waiting until it all stops, and then I'll just binge it or buy it or something. Well, it's about done. I've, so. I've read every book. I've gotten every additional book. I've yeah. watched but all I'm, the but episodes. But I'm excited the writers for times. Game of Thrones is doing the new Star Wars trilogy. That's awesome, too. Oh, yeah, I heard that stars Han Solo. He's coming back. No, he's not. This is no. No, it's supposed to be the Old Republic way Chewbacca before the prequels. It? Oh, okay. Chewbacca's in everything. Yeah, so C three PO. Yeah, because he's like nine hundred years old. Yeah. Yeah, C three PO's in all the movies as well. And that is gonna. Those tickets are already on sale as well. So that, buy them. Is that with uh, Ian Christopher? Yeah, maybe we can have Ian Christopher dance at these shows on a box. That might get people to buy more tickets. Possibly. We have to put him on a box though. Yes, yeah, we need to get dancers at these shows. <laughs> That's it. If we get well, Sheena to dance, everybody will come out. Yeah. Well, me, Mick, and Ian, we already had some experience at WGT dancing for Dirk. That's right. I could get you and... T- <laughs> That's true. I could get you and Mick to do it. Then a lot of people might come for sure. I think White he, Gold. I think That's his to, new name. DJ White Gold. DJ White Gold. Is that like white chocolate? No? Mm, I really. wouldn't eat white gold. I, white chocolate I would eat. I like rose gold. <laughs> Okay, oh, well, Jesus that's good. Christ. But don't eat it. No, no. <laughs> it's not going to sit well in your stomach. Don't eat yellow gold. Or don't yellow. Yeah, yellow, yellow gold is really not good, especially yellow snow. Don't <laughs> eat yellow Definitely snow. Definitely don't eat yellow snow. Stay away from well, the yellow like snow. It's like lemon sherbet. It just falls from the sky. If we've taught you anything today, it's stay away from yellow snow. <laughs> <laughs> not a good thing. So any of our young listeners out there who don't know what snow looks like. Little, oh, no. You never know. They might have grown up in the south. No snow. They go up north, they see yellow snow, and they want to eat it. It's delicious. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Ah, oh, come on. No, not yellow. Shh, don't tell them that. No, man, you don't want to do that to them. They'll be thrown up all night. <laughs> <laughs> Winter.
Rangers. Will someone turn off that music? That's enough. I'm putting an end to this freak show right now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>